welcome to our very windy, very hot, but beautiful campsite in Medora, North Dakota. We're boondocking here right now. We got here yesterday. Staying cool in the camper has been a challenge today, but this spot is right outside of Theodore Roosevelt National Park. It's a national park that we have never been to, and we're really excited to check it out tonight. Uh, it's known for having excellent wildlife viewing, and Medora, the town itself, is actually pretty cute. It's actually almost five o'clock right now, which we hear is one of the best times to visit the park. We're gonna pop around a couple other places around the park, and then they have a scenic loop that we're gonna do around eight o'clock this evening. Should be fun. Stop number one is the Painted Canyon Visitor Center. Got my Instagram hat on. Dogs are in the back. We brought the girls with us because it's so freaking hot outside that we couldn't leave them in the camper. So they get to chill in the literally chill in the AC while we go check this out. Unfortunately, the visitor center closes at five, which we probably should have known. Either way, this is a great place to stop and get a panoramic view of the canyon. If you're entering Theodore Roosevelt National Park from the east, this is the first visitor center that you'll come across right off of I-94, and you do not have to pay to take in these views. So I didn't know this before we came here, but Theodore Roosevelt National Park is split up into two different units the north unit and then the south unit, which is where we are right now and where this particular visitor center is at. So we're not gonna make it over to the north unit just because it's quite a distance away from where we are, but we are gonna explore the south unit this evening. Since it was after five o'clock, the main visitor center in the south unit was also closed. That's where you'll find the Maltese Cross Cabin built in 1883. It's right behind the visitor center. Teddy Roosevelt lived here temporarily and during normal visitor center hours, you can actually tour the inside. We had to settle for the outside only, which was still pretty cool. Can you see? Or is it just my reflection? Pretty much reflection. I see. Ooh, there's like a cool old stove and some dishes, some rocking chairs. It's pretty cute. So yeah, come when the visitor center is open. Don't be like us. From there, we started the 36 mile scenic loop drive. so cute. There are literally thousands of prairie dogs right here. A small portion of the loop was closed while we were there, so we could only go one direction right here, but we were still able to do a majority of the drive. so busy recording these wild horses in this beautiful picturesque field. I didn't even notice there are like a hundred bison right next to them. There are three bison up here. These people are on a motorcycle. Who is the people? Oh, probably smart. I get this. It seemed like every mile we drove, we found more and more wildlife. Theodore Roosevelt National Park is home to bison, wild horses, prairie dogs, and even elk. I wish I knew more about horse behavior because there's a lot of drama happening right now. Oh, you guys are so pretty. This is just wild. I'm blown away by the wildlife here. Action. 
mission packed. It is. some of probably the best wildlife viewing I've ever seen at a national park. Would you not agree? 10 out of 10. You do agree? Yeah. And we even saw elk at the end. I didn't even know there were elk here. We're gonna go eat some food now. But yeah, that was great. Highly recommend. Highly recommend, loved it. Hungry. Hungry. I am still trying to get over how fantastic that wildlife was last night. So we're getting packed up right now. We're heading out of the area. I'm standing like in front of the camper right now to try to shield myself from the wind. Before I close this out, I wanted to try to give you a tour of our boondocking site that we've been staying at for the past two days. It's been really, really awesome despite the wind and the heat that we dealt with yesterday. But behind me is our main view, stepping outside of our camper. So this is looking Back over there is the direction of Theodore Roosevelt National Park. I found this spot on Campendium. It had five star rating. My only issue is we did have a neighbor who was staying just over here. They left this morning and he told us that they saw a rattlesnake yesterday. So I did not let the dogs off leash today. Technically, uh, you can let them off leash. I have been really hesitant to do that because in addition to the rattlesnakes, there are also cacti all around here. I let Lady off for a little bit yesterday just so she could get some exercise. But other than that, we've kept them on a leash the entire time. I just don't need another emergency vet bill. Okay, so let's try to give you a little bit more of a tour. So right over here, there's the camper. Um, you can see a couple other people are parked down this We'll call it a road right here. It's really just the top of this hill that people have driven across. And every so often you can tell some other campers or vehicles have been parked in different spots. So we tried to pick a spot that was already a little bit flattened down. Uh, our closest neighbor is not close at all, just on the other side of the truck right here. Um, we actually saw that guy in the park yesterday too, which is kind of funny. Uh, there's some really cool rigs that we've noticed here. Uh, there's an Airstream bus parked just up the road. There are some spots up that road that are technically big rig friendly, but if you go all the way to the top, there's nowhere to turn around. We had that issue, so maybe avoid going up there if you have anything over, I don't know. 20 feet. I'll post the Campendium link for this spot down below in the description. I'll probably write a review about it as well and post some pictures. So go ahead and check that out. Remember to please follow us over on Instagram and TikTok. We post a lot of different content over there. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the wildlife at Theodore Roosevelt National Park as much as we did. And we'll see you guys next time.